Hi, I'm Mary Ann, an instructional designer here at Kent State in the Office of Continuing and Distance Education. Now that you have begun collecting badges, I would like to share with you how you can show the badges you have earned with your dean in your portfolio, on LinkedIn, your blog, etc. Did you know that every Credly member has their own unique public profile on Credly.com with a customizable URL? That's right, you can customize the web address people use to visit your profile. Visit your account settings from the user menu at the top right of the site and look for the account URL section. From there, you can click on the pencil to customize your unique Credly URL. Then click the Save Changes button. Once you have set your account URL included on your resume, the signature of your emails, on your LinkedIn page and on your website, Facebook page or blog, or in any communication where you'd like others to be aware of your recognition and achievement. Now, to get down to the specifics on how to use some of the features, I'm going to use two different browsers. In the Firefox browser, I am logged into Credly. I am not logged in to my Credly account using the Chrome browser. This will be what other people see. I will switch back and forth between the Firefox and Chrome browsers so you can understand how to use Credly while understanding the user experience. First, let me show you how to manage and share your individual badges. Navigate to the My Credit menu button. Click on a badge and you will see your options. If you notice, the eyeball is closed. Close the eyes of the badges that are private to you. Others will not see this badge as you can see from my public page. The trash can is obvious. If you decide you don't want that badge, just toss it. The share button is where the fun begins. Beyond sharing your custom URL, there are four ways to share your individual badges. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Mozilla. When you click on the Facebook button, a screen comes up asking you to log in. After you log in, another screen appears providing a text box to add a comment. And now you have shared the badge with your friends. When you click on the Twitter button, if you are not logged in, you will be asked to log in and tweet. They have started some of the information for you, sign in and tweet, or in my case, I'm already signed in. When someone on Twitter clicks the tiny URL, it will take them directly to the details of your badge. I suggest signing into LinkedIn before you click on the LinkedIn button. When you click on the LinkedIn button, if you are signed in, you have two choices. You can add it to your profile or you can share it with your network as an update. First, let me show you how to add a badge to your profile. Click on the profile button and LinkedIn will open in your browser directly to the profile page. Click the add to profile button. Scroll down and you will see the badge listed in your profile. For the time being, users won't see the individual badge, but if they click on the link, they will be directed to the badge description. Notice that while you are in LinkedIn, you are provided with an inquiry as to whether you would like to publish the update to your network. Back in Credly, you also have the option to share your badge with your LinkedIn network. There is an input box to add your comments, a drop-down menu for who you would like to share an update, and whether to post it to groups or individuals. Lastly, if you have a Mozilla backpack as I do, you can add your badge to your Mozilla backpack and vice versa.